Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Helen. For those of you who are new here, I am a content creator, a struggling content creator who does pretty much a little bit of everything. I don't have a niche just yet, but I am more geared towards daily vlogging than anything else. I don't plan on niching down my content any further. However, I do plan on sprinkling a few dedicated videos here and there. Nothing too crazy, but I do enjoy fashion, beauty, lifestyle, wellness, those sorts of things. That is pretty much the basis of my channel. All things beauty, all things lovely and wonderful. So if you would like to see anything in particular, definitely leave me a comment down below. But yeah, I'm not going to waste too much time. As you can tell by the title of the video, I am doing a Shein accessories haul. I personally feel like I lucked out. I genuinely feel like I scored a big one with these pieces and I just had to make a video regarding this. Now, I did ball out over the last few days over the last couple of weeks because I do have some upcoming travels coming along. I know this video is pretty much going out late. The next couple of videos that I have coming for you guys will be going out pretty much later on in the summer but hopefully I will have these videos up right before the summertime starts to fade out. Just to give you some inspo, just to give you some pieces and some looks for a fraction of the price, I figured I would hurry up and get these videos out there so that you too can shop and look just as good as I I am this summer or next summer because I definitely see myself wearing these pieces, these items for many, many more summers to come. I'm telling you right now, you don't want to miss out. And I cannot believe that I managed to pull these pieces off of Shein. You're not going to believe. Now, I will say this over the last couple of weeks, I have gone a little bit crazy on Shein because I just could not believe some of the pieces that I found on Shein. And I just feel like no matter where I'm at, in life. I just want to look good. No matter what I'm doing in this world, no matter where I'm at in life, I want to look good, but I want to do it affordably. Like I want to look good affordably for as long as I possibly can. For now, I have no problems with shopping affordably and shopping pieces that are within my price range and my budget. So yeah, I definitely feel like I scored a big one. And I'm telling you right now, you need to watch these next couple of videos, not just this video, but these next couple of videos till the end. I really think that I found some of the best, not only summer pieces, summer and spring pieces, but some of the best vacation pieces. Yeah, you heard me correctly. I'm telling you right now, you don't want to miss out. I really locked up. Like, I can't believe some of the pieces that are on Shein. Oh my god. I figured I'd show you all of the accessories that I purchased, and it's a lot. Just the accessories alone is like maybe 40 pieces, so I'm giving you a nice lengthy haul and hopefully inspire you to get up, get out, and go somewhere you don't even have to go anywhere tropical you can even be local i mean it depends because you know you kind of have to match the weather as well i personally you could do whatever your heart desires but i personally wouldn't wear this during the winter maybe one piece but 99.9 percent .9 of these next two or three holes that are coming your way are not only affordable are not only off of shein but they are perfect for vacate so i think i just managed to hit the nail on the head with some of these pieces so yeah i hope i'm not overwhelming you but i found so many wonderful pieces oh my god i found so many wonderful and great pieces for the summer and for your upcoming travels or future travels whenever if you do plan on traveling at all but yeah but i'm not going to take up too much time let's um get straight into this video so first off we have a casualty luckily the first casualty i don't need it for my upcoming travels so i will try to sort this out sooner than later but one of the acrylic clutches that i purchased off of shein came in complete shambles i'm going to show you right now so i'm going to insert some video footage from my iphone because i don't want to pick this up and have this all over the floor but it's a lovely bag. I'm hoping that the other acrylic bags that I purchased are not damaged. I hope nothing else is damaged. I'm gonna have to email Shein and rectify the situation immediately. So this is the second bag. I know the lighting. I'm gonna turn down the brightness and see if it'll help. 
this is the second bag i have the first bag in purple you would have saw that in the cutaways but this is identical to the purple bag it's acrylic the material the quality of this bag is 10 out of 10. now there is a lot of damage to the bag the pearls or these balls they go all the way around and as you can see practically half of the balls had fallen off i'm going to keep it i'm going to try to fix it myself i'm not going to panic i'm not even going to send it back i'm going to write a review and i'm going to complain i don't know why they sent this in these like this this is nothing and they sent it in the regular wrapping paper so that was not smart at all both the bags came broken however this bag is currently sold out online i did go online to see if they had more colors but unfortunately anyway if you're going to purchase this bag you just have to be careful i love the bag the bag is gorgeous i'm gonna start with this clutch oh my goodness let me turn down the brightness so that you can see the clutch in its entirety i want to say that this is a champagne gold clutch i'm not sure exactly beautiful decent quality on a scale from one to ten the quality feels like an eight nine most of the clutches that i purchase are acrylic but it's like a very thick and sturdy acrylic it's not like those it's not like your acrylic that you use for your accessories acrylic organizers if you know what i'm talking about not from michael's but like is it the amazon ones yeah um this this material is definitely a eight nine i would even say a nine out of ten. Oh my god um beautiful i mean just absolutely gorgeous very inexpensive it came with this chain i believe it's a crossbody chain if it's not a crossbody chain you know what let me just show you right quick if it's not a crossbody chain it is a handheld chain so that you can hold it in the crook of your arm no it's a crossbody chain it's long i mean i'm sure you can probably shorten it it's long as you can see most of the clutches came with a chain thank god but you can probably wrap it around your hand like so and wear it like this Again, most of this stuff will be styled up in my next video that's going out, the next two or three videos that's going out because I'm gonna have to break it up. I also bought a few other pieces of clothing that are vacate inspired clothing pieces, but I'm not sure how I would style these pieces. So whatever I can style up, from the accessories i will but if not i'm definitely going to show you in this video what it looks like next so, up we have this bag i'm sorry if the lighting is going to go in and out throughout this video because i am shooting in the nighttime so i have to use artificial lighting and i'm not sure if my ring lights i can't say for sure whether or not my ring lights affect the color i'm not sure if the lighting somehow affects the actual color of the pieces that i'm going to show you i'm going to be dimming the lights as well i turned off my ring light i think this light right now is giving you a more accurate tone of the bag i think i feel like it is this color seems a little bit more accurate this bag comes with two chains i'm going to show you the chains right now oh my god this chain would allow you to wear it as a crossbody bag i'm not mad at it this is a chain that is extremely long so if you wanted to wear it as a crossbody you could i know it's even longer than what i'm showing you i can't back up any further unfortunately because then i'll be through the wall but this is the first chain this is the second chain if you wanted to wear it as a handbag or in the crook of your arm so if you wanted to just wear it as a handbag like so change it from a clutch to a handbag gorgeous 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 oh this bag i give a nine i don't know if i rated it i mean if it was glass or metal i don't think if it was a metal bag it would have been all that appeasing to me anyway so i give this a 10 i know i showed you this purple bag this perfect lovely clutch i did crazy glue the balls back on it wasn't too tedious as i thought it was going to be it actually went well i would say in total fixing in total all three bags maybe two or three hours and then i let them dry for like two days before i touched them so i sat them in a corner somewhere but this bag was so damaged you would have saw it in a previous clip it was in pieces this bag the mechanism right here that keeps the two bags pulled together is broke 
I'm going to see if I can find a um, what you would do to patch up a drywall. Anyway, I'm gonna try and fix it even further. I did get my money back for this. I thought about it and I said I wasn't gonna try and reorder the bags because I just had a funny feeling it was just gonna be the same thing all over again. So right now I cannot wear this bag, it's not functional. I would not put my cell phone or anything of value in this bag because God forbid, it does not close, it does not stay closed. It's pretty much holding on by a thread. It's just this little plastic, this PVC plastic right here that's holding the two bags together but other than that the lock and the mechanism that holds the bag in place properly this i give a 10 i give this bag the presentation of this bag a 10 i definitely give this bag a 10. i think this one is completely fixed i would have shown you this too this is the white bag and it's pearl white swan white color i wish the bag was a little bit warmer it had like a champagne undertone to it but again the bag is beautiful it's gorgeous it has a chain both of the bags came with a chain. I'm gonna let you know if it's a long crossbody chain or not. One cell phone can fit in here, I think. Let's see if it'll close. Nope, it might fit. You would probably have to pull it out. The cell phone fits exactly in here. Let's see what happens when I try to close it. Okay, it'll close for size reference. But that's it, like the cell phone, your keys is probably not gonna fit in here unless it's one key. I'm telling you, I lucked up, I really lucked up. I'm gonna keep the acrylic theme going. I'm gonna show you my more evening bags. I would like, I would suggest that these types of bags, no matter the color, no matter the style, the shape, because of the material and the size, I would call these bags that I've just shown you evening bags or evening clutches. I mean, you could wear it during the daytime, but I wouldn't wear these bags during the day. I mean, you could, because if you're getting dressed up and you're going to like a brunch or an event, then it would call for it. Oh, it comes with a chain as well, so you can wear it as a crossbody or a clutch. The material of the bag is acrylic. It's giving off a nice, beautiful shine. Not too patent leathery, but it's still giving off this beautiful reflectant shine to the bag and I like it. It was a matte bag, a matte green. I think it would be a little bit weird. I think they did this bag beautifully. I believe I wore this bag already. I'm not too sure, but yeah, you're gonna have to follow along to see if I wore this bag. I did take like three of these bags with me in my recent travel. I just got back a few days ago. That's why I look so bronze and dark. This bag is gonna be sick of me. You're gonna get sick of me. And I love the handle of the bag. I just love the color. It's gorgeous. Another acrylic bag. It has some cracks in this bag, unfortunately. This was another bag that was damaged, but I did not ask for my money back or try to exchange the bag because the way that the bag is cracked up, it really looks like it's, you're not gonna be able to tell, even if you're looking hard, even if you're staring hard at it, unless you're like, you own the bag and you're holding it and you're examining the bag with a microscope, with a magnifying glass, you're not gonna be able to tell the cracks in this bag because of the design of the bag. Look at the detail of this bag. It's in this warm tone color and it has like this warm undertone to it. I'm not even sure. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. The quality of this bag is a nine. All of the bags that I showed you are nine. The quality is superb. I love this bag. It comes with this little chain. Again, I'm pretty sure it's a crossbody chain. I don't need to keep showing you the same chain. I don't think they swapped out the chains in any of these bags. I think the chains are exactly the same. So yeah, and gold as well. But yeah, so this bag is white. Anyway, it's good that I have one white bag. As you can see, this one is like, this one I think is pearl. I mean, because of the material, they both look like pearls. To be honest with you this one has a warm cream tone to it and then this one is like swan white if you can see side by side i hope it's coming off on camera so I'm, I'm happy that i did get two separate colors now that i think about it but i appreciate the tone of this one more so yeah this is the bag in all its glory let me show you how it opens enough to fit a cell phone credit card and maybe a little bit more than that other bag because it, it is a little bit wider as you can see okay so that same exact bag that i just showed you but in this beautiful turquoise green shade look at the detail on the side again this one i think it was more cracked than that white one i think i can't really show you i don't think the camera would do it 
any justice if I can show you some of the cracks on the bags. I think this is up right here. I don't think you would be able to see that. That crack right there. Right where my nail is. Not this white streak right here. That white streak. Right here in the green. That is a crack. Because of the marble reflectant shiny material of the bag. If you can even see. I don't think you can really see it. I just don't. Comes with this crossbody chain again. I showed you the chain like three times. I'm not gonna show you again. It just wouldn't make sense. It has this elasticated attachment. So it opens like that. This is what the inside of the bag look like. The acrylic is beautiful. The quality is beautiful. It'll work in my wardrobe. I love it. It'll work for the summertime. 9.5 out of 10. I think I'm down to my last two acrylic evening inspired bags. And then the rest are more like daytime, beachy, poolside bags. This bag, I wouldn't say it's like, I don't see myself reaching for this bag that much, but depending on the outfit and the location, I wanted to keep it. It's in this like, clear sheer see-through green lime green shade it has like a green tint to it it's in this sheer lime color very small my phone won't fit in here my phone won't fit in here i would have to carry my phone in my hand if i wanted to it gives you the option of wearing it as a crossbody and then i don't know why they put this in here it's detachable it's not sewn on to the bag so you can remove this piece and i guess you can wear it exactly like this if you wanted to it's a beautiful bag the quality is so so i guess because it's just a basic acrylic bag it's not as thick and bulky like the rest of the bags that I showed you. I would say the quality is like a 7 out of 10. Still a pretty good bag. Somebody might get inspired by this. Did I need the bag? No, but I bought it because it was different. I have so many bags, so many bags that I can bring with me on vacay. And because it is transparent, I think that's why I liked it. Now, had it been in a different color, I probably wouldn't have gotten it because it would have came off as all oh that. I don't mean it like that. For those of you who own this bag in a different shade, like clear, this bag, it's making too much noise. That bag would have came off as cheesy to me. Like, I don't like those types of bags. The shape and the size, which I knew the size was gonna be small, so I figured I can pull it off a little bit better. A simple satiny dress, lime green heels, or like a very light colored heel. Doesn't have to be lime green, but yellowy, light yellow, light green heel. Hair makeup done a very specific way. Asian inspired look. I think I can pull off the bag, but it would take time for me to pull off the bag. I can't just grab that bag and go, even if I'm on vacation. That bag to me would have to be very much planned and thought out to the T. If you're not careful, in my humble opinion, respectfully and humbly, this can come off cheesy. It can come off real cheesy. Now, I will say this. The quality is not as cheesy as I was expecting because I said, I know I'm going to send it back. I know it's going to go wrong. But believe it or not, the quality and the color and the shape and the design of the bag does work well. Not as well as the other bags, but it does work well. I give the aesthetic and the style an 8 out of 10 and I give the quality maybe a 7 out of 10. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. I'm not sending it back. Again, I just think you have to be careful with these types of bags because it can go so wrong so quickly. I think that if this bag was sheer, I don't know, like they picked the perfect color to do this bag. I'm going to show you the last acrylic bag. You'll see what I'm trying to say. I should have sent it back, but anyway, this acrylic bag. I know, what am I thinking? What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Don't get me wrong though. Like, don't, don't get me wrong. The intent was there. The intent was definitely there. I think it's a little too big. The clear, had it been in this sheer pinkish shade, sheer green shade, it probably would have been way better. I see the vision. I really do see the vision. I had a very specific look in mind when I added this to my cart. I knew that the base of the bag was going to be clear. I wasn't expecting it to be a different color. Like I said, if you're not careful, I think that these types of PVC bags that are not like top quality acrylic, well, I, I would say glass. It can be cheesy. It can. It can be cheesy. It does open. It is functional. It's not going to be able to hold or fit much you definitely can wear this 
both spotted. Do I want to say it's a seven? Do I want to be gracious and give this bag a seven? The quality is definitely a six, seven. Like the last one I just showed you, the aesthetic of the bag, the beauty of the bag, is it Instagram worthy? You're gonna have to get back to me. You decide, you let me know in the comments down below. Either you're gonna hate it or you're gonna love it. I don't think there really is an in-between. I don't like clear, this transparent clear. When Yeezy brought the heels out, when Kim and Yeezy brought those heels out, I never, ever, I never jumped on it. I don't care if they were from Balenciaga. Um, who else did those shoes? I don't know if Balenciaga did the shoes. The PVC heels, I never. You have to be someone who really knows how to style and dress. If you're not someone who's quick and fast when it comes to pulling pieces together, gathering all your looks at once, oh, I know exactly what I can buy with this, or I know exactly what I can pull out my wardrobe to wear with that. It can sit in your wardrobe and collect dust. This is something I'm not gonna grab. I only had one very specific look in mind for this bag. Very girly, very flirty, summertime, spring, daytime only, not an evening bag at all. This is not an evening bag, but you do what you want, girl. Don't let me stop you. Um, I figured I will go into some more clutch and evening bags, but not acrylic material because those were all acrylic materials, those were evening bags. I still have a few more certified, bona fide evening bags left. I have maybe like six more to show you, but they're not acrylic anymore. So those are like really exotic bags or exotic pieces in my personal opinion. These are more like, if you're not on an island somewhere, Jamaica, anywhere tropical, anywhere exclusive, those bags will work just fine on vacay for you. Now the next bags that I'm showing you, they are evening bags, they are clutches that I purchased off of Shein but they will work in any setting. So whether or not you're out of the country or out of town, or if you're just in New York City, Chicago, you're going out with your boo, your bae, and you just wanna look a little bit presentable and put together, then these are the bags for you. You can wear these every single day. Anything that I say, take with a grain of salt. Anything that I say, take it with a grain of salt. You can do whatever your heart desires. Do not let me stop you. Those bags, in my personal opinion, are vacation, evening bags. However, if your bae calls you and hits you up and say, listen, grab this stuff. We're going to Nobu, Pargola, or Carbone, and you want to throw in one of those bags, be my guest. You can do whatever your heart desires, but I'm just letting you know. Those are like more summertime bags. I'm sure you've seen this bag before. I believe Zara even has a bag similar to this. I think this bag didn't even cost me $20. You can be going to have drinks with your girls. I don't have to wait to wear this bag. Beautiful gold bag. It's not acrylic. I think it has like some metal components. I think it's like a more soft metal material i give that bag a 9 out of 10 as well and the quality i give it a 9 out of 10. this bag i don't see it getting a lot of use i don't see myself getting a whole bunch of use out of this bag but nonetheless it is a very very beautiful bag very beautiful bag and this green shade and it has this embellishment in the front this beautiful embellishment in the front and this satin material again a long very long chain so if you wanted to wear it crossbody you could good quality the material for this bag and the quality of this bag i definitely give this an 8.5 out of 10. this bag beautiful 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 bag i wore this bag in an all white look out one night it's in this satin material beautiful satin material i give this bag a 9 out of 10. it's a clutch but it's a handbag it comes with these strap details you can remove these straps i don't know if you can see that yeah you can has these removable straps so you can wear it as a clutch you definitely can wear this bag here or overseas again the bag is pretty small i don't think you'll be able to fit more than a phone in here this bag i give it a 9 out of 10 the quality the satin i give it a 8 out of 10. Oh, it's, it's pretty small i don't know if your phone it will fit comfortably in here yeah the phone will fit comfortably in here but that's pretty much it oh it comes with another strap i'm pretty sure the chain is so that you can change it out and wear as a crossbody i will tell you this she and thought ahead and really did their real big one because they thought about everyone for those of you who do not want to actually hold a bag physically in your hand and would prefer to wear it on your shoulder or as a crossbody she and really thought about the girls when they was designing these bags beautiful bag nonetheless very inexpensive silver bag um i don't love the bag i needed a silver bag and i wasn't sure how i wanted to wear that dress that i had in my but I needed a silver bag to go with it because it has some real big silver detailing to it. I wanted to be very intentional when I wore that dress. I don't know what dress it was. 
I would have to think about it and look for it. I know that I have two dresses that has a very big silver detail. It has some metal hardware in the dress that is silver. And so I was like, you know what? I don't have a silver bag. While I'm here, while I was checking out my sheet in order, I had outfits that were not coming on the trip with me, but outfits that I have in my closet that has not been worn because I don't have a bag to go with that outfit therefore i cannot wear that outfit so while i was bag shopping and on the hunt for my bags that dress came up in mine and there's another dress too i said let me go ahead and just find a silver bag i will say this when i was looking for silver bags i wasn't able to give my time and attention to the bags and i know that's like sort of like kind of wasting money because if you don't like the bag you don't like the bag however i do kind of like this bag it's cute if you don't like the bag then it's like a waste i should have just waited but then i'm Gonna have to pay for shipping again and i didn't want to do that so since i was there i was like you know what let me just find a silver bag and let me just add it to the cart because i don't have any silver or gray bags i needed those bags to come before my trip these bags are not intentional like those other bags i'm sorry i'm being honest with you i was not really infatuated with the look of the bag but it'll do i don't know how much use i'll get out of this bag but it will definitely stay in my wardrobe i don't see myself parting ways with it it has like this satiny material but it has this gold reflex in it. it has this metal hardware it came with a chain i'm not sure if it's a crossbody chain i like the bag the aesthetics the quality i give this bag a 8 out of 10 yeah i give it an 8 out of 10 i'm just gonna keep the theme going again i don't have a red bag i saw this bag when i added that bag to the cart and i said why not get it sister it's in this red material now this one i will say this is like a 6.5 out of 10 i don't know what it is maybe it's the red maybe it's the gold Old hardware something about it i'm just not feeling it. i don't have a red bag i'm gonna hunt for a few more bags i am gonna search for better bags i know it's harmful and wasteful but i did go out and get her sister it's in this satin material it has these red glitter reflex going on i don't know it's just not giving like how the silver is giving this is what the inside of the bag looked like just like the other bag it comes with a chain I don't think the phones can fit in these bags either. I tried. And then the last evening bag, which is a silver bag. I like it. It's just a little bit small. It's cute though. I really do like this bag. It's very small. You have to be careful. You don't want to overpack this bag. Not because it might break, but because it just won't look right. Really, the bag is just to hold your money and your wallet. I mean, your, your credit cards and your keys. I don't think... I don't know how to explain it. Like, if you try to stuff the bag, it's going to look silly. I think you're only supposed to put your lip gloss in here. This is not to carry your things. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say. This bag is not for you to carry your personal belongings what i sound nuts right yeah yeah i said that yeah 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 i said it yeah i said it a bag is not supposed to carry your personal belongings no i like the bag it also comes with this magnet detail right here that's how they were advertising the bag online so that you can even wear it like that this is how the bag was advertised on Shein. you can wear it like this or you can wear it like that now i'm going to tap into more vacation bags they're vacation bags but because they're casual and they can be worn during the day i guess you can wear them during the day but i don't think you should wear them during the day if it's not 80 degrees outside 75 80 degrees outside and hotter they are vacation inspired bags because of the material and the rattan well not Rotten, but they're casual bags you don't have to be overly dressed you don't have to get dressed to the nines everyone has this bag everyone has this bag believe it or not this bag can hold a lot my phones can fit in here i don't know how they did it unlike the rest of the bags that i showed you this bag does not have a crossbody handle or chain to it so number one i would not put a whole lot of things in this bag because i can see the carpal tunnel happening immediately i wouldn't allow this bag to get too heavy because my hands and my wrists just simply would not be able to cope with it but beautiful bag quality 
is a 8 out of 10. This is not like the sticks that you would make in fifth grade. I think it was like third grade. You know the art classes that we would have in like the second and third grade where we would take Elmer's glue and make those houses out of sticks? This is not that. Now it could be laminated this bag with something to make the quality a bit more sturdy. That's probably what happened, but the material of this is a lot more, I believe they laminated the bag, but I'm not sure if they have a higher quality of wood Wood, unlike the wood that we would use in third grade, if I'm making sense. It has a very mild shine to it. It's not matte. It's a mini bag. It's small. I love this bag. Love it, love it, love it. You definitely can use it. Again, this is a very casual bag. This is not like the rest of those bags. You don't have to be done all the way up. But as you can see what I'm trying to explain to you, this is very much a summer, springtime, daytime, casual bag. Very cute. Love it. And then I got its big sister, but in a different shape. This one is matte. Is it matte? Or does it have a shine to it? I think this is a little bit more matte. Again, same material. The quality is a 8 out of 10. I just got its bigger sister. I got it in a slightly different shape. The bottom over here has this circular shape to it. And then the handle is slightly more rectangular. It's cute. There was another shape that I wanted, but I wanted it in large and they did not have it in large. That's why I opt for this one. Well, you don't know that I opt for this bag. It's still saying sold out. I've been eyeing it. I really, really want that bag, but I want it in a large. I love the bag. For the aesthetic vibe, I give it an 8 out of 10. So next up, we have this bag. I had no idea that it was going to come in this size. I thought it was going to come in the size of like literally a coin purse, maybe a little bit bigger than a coin purse. Literally, I was expecting for it to come in like the width of my cell phone, the width of the iPhone 15 and like two inches taller. So I was not expecting this bag to come this size. This is a full on bag. This is not a clutch by the way. So I don't know what happened to the strap or the chain, but they forgot to put the chain in this bag. Now I'm gonna double check on my bags eventually just to make sure that nothing did fall out and I probably inadvertently took the chain and threw it in another bag. It's possible. I mean, I'm probably never gonna wear this bag. Really, I should send this back this is not gonna get worn. Like, I don't think I could do anything with it. It's cute, it's different. I purchased it because of the wooden detail and then this, this right here, the handle. It's not a handle, it's a, I don't even know what you would call this, but it's cute. I mean, it's cute. It's just really big. I wanted it as a little coin purse. The material is different. This is like microfiber, no, this is not even microfiber. This is like that cushion material, the material of your couch. It's exactly the same material as the fiber couches. I don't even know what material that is, but um, it's not microfiber, but it's like a cushion material. That's how I can explain it. I'm sorry if I'm doing a poor job at describing it. Unfortunately, Shein does not put the materials or the, the information of the bag on their tags. They just write, Shein on most of their tags. It has this leather at the bottom of the bag. The bag opens like this. It looks like that on the inside. Plenty of room, plenty of space. The detail of the front, it's in this. Oh God, what's it called? The design is cute, don't get me wrong. Not really my taste exactly, but nonetheless, it is a cute design. Anyway. I give this bag a six out of 10. I might give it away. I'll see if I can send it back, but if they try to charge me, I'll sell it or give it away. Next up, we have this bag. I wasn't expecting for this bag to come in this size. It is pretty small. It's a thin, flimsy type of woven raw material bag. I don't know what you would call this material. I love this material. It's for the summertime. This cannot be worn during the winter time. You're gonna look silly. Really, you really should only be wearing this around the beach. I wouldn't wear this in the city. I mean, you could wear it in the city, but I personally would not wear this bag in the city. I love the bag. It's in this beautiful woven material. This material though, however, is not, if there is a better quality or higher quality woven, I don't know what this material is. I really wish somebody would tell me what this material is because or what this material is made out of because it's not yarn it's not like a straw bag don't get me wrong this is technically a straw bag it's somewhat made out of straw but it's the material is a little bit softer than straw you know how that straw material if you're not careful and you try to crack it or you try to squeeze it the splints 
like kind of poke at you and poke into your skin. You know those laundry basket bags, the ones that are like made out of straw? It's not like as rough and hard as a typical straw bag. I'm sorry if I keep saying straw. This is very soft. It's a very soft woven raw straw material. So I love these straw bags. I love these woven bags. And as you can see, the next several bags, the next several bags, if not this material, then it's similar in design and material. I mean, I kind of went a little bit overboard. I was hoping for it to be a little bit bigger. I guess it's not practical if I want to walk around the beach, carry up a water bottle during the summertime. I'm not going to reach for it. I'm not going to get that much wear out of this bag because I'm not able to hold much in this bag. So really me having to hold my cell phone and it's like 90 degrees outside. I'm trying to carry a water bottle, my wallet, my credit cards, my keys, snacks. I didn't want it for a beach bag. I just wanted it as a casual daytime vacation bag. That's it. But it's too small. So again, we're going into the woven bags. Pretty much, I think all of these bags are like woven or straw material. I love this bag. This is a gorgeous bag. And the material as well and the color, the shade of this bag is beautiful. Oh my God. I love the slouchiness of it. It's not too slouchy, but it does have a little bit of stiffness to the bag so that the shape doesn't fall completely flat. The metal closure that it has, it is a magnet metal closure and it is a decent quality if I must say so myself. I don't think your stuff will fall out. You don't have to worry about it not zipping. As you can see, there is no zip. It just closes like so. I don't think you have to worry about the safety of your things. This is a very good bag in my personal opinion and it does have a strap okay the strap is long so you can attach this strap to the bag and wear it crossbody as you can see and the hooks are right here i would dress this bag up i give this bag a 9 out of 10 9.5 out of 10 i love this bag so 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 much now i couldn't decide i couldn't determine if that size that that size bag that i just showed you the one that i said i love so much i couldn't decide whether or not the bag would be big enough for me or small enough for me so i decided to get it's big cousin big sister no because then that would mean it they look alike this bag is not exactly the same exact bag that i just showed you however if i wore both these bags back to back like one day i wore that bag and then the next day i wore this bag you wouldn't be able to tell that i'm wearing two different style bags unless you're like that serious when it comes to detail let me just show you for reference the color is not that far off the color is not that far off. However, I would rather that bag than this one any time, any day of the week. That bag, to be honest with you, this one is not that much smaller than what I was anticipating. I was anticipating for this bag to be tiny. So that is why I went ahead and I purchased this bag on top of that bag, just in case, because I don't want to walk around with the coin purse. It's cute. I'll do it every now and again, but I don't want to walk around with the coin purse. So I was expecting for this bag to be a lot smaller and not useful at all so I wanted to see if I can purchase that bag but bigger however now this bag is a little bit too big it's just a little bit too big the color is not that far off it has the same mechanism when it comes to opening the mechanism on that bag opens a little bit better than a little bit better and a little bit wider than this bag this bag doesn't really open that wide believe it or not however it's a lot more spacious the material is almost the same no, the material is the same. It's just the color is off. So yeah, this bag is not as slouchy as the last bag. Nonetheless, it's still a very great bag. I don't see myself parting ways with the bag. However, if I really wanted to style this bag up a little bit, it just feels like it would be slightly, just ever so slightly too big. So I would wear this bag before I will wear this bag. Only if I'm not able to fit my cell phone. I'm almost 99% sure that my phone can fit in here comfortably. So I would prefer the cover on this bag. Overall, this bag is like 10 out of 10. I think I said a 9 or 9.5 out of 10, but this bag is like 10 out of 10. This one is 8.5 out of 10. And it's really only for the size. It's only for the size. It has a 
chain strap. I'm sure you can wear this bag as a crossbody. I don't think I would ever really try to wear this bag as a crossbody. I would wear it as a clutch. I would wear it underneath my arm like so. These two bags, you really don't have to do too much. You don't have to get overly dressed with these two bags. You don't have to think that hard when you wear this bag. I mean, I would wear them still on vacation, but they're casual bags. Okay, so slightly similar to the bag that I love so much. Um, is it the same thing, just a diff? It might be the same thing. It might be the same thing, but just a different color and different material. This is a, I'm gonna give you what I think this bag is made out of. This is a straw bag laminated in leather material or a wax material. If you can feel the bag, if you can feel the bag, it has like a leather feel to it, but it's in this woven, woven material and I hope the color is coming off on camera because I'm not even sure. It's in a beige, cream, beige, off-white type of color. I'm sorry, there's no tag so I can't. I'm just like trying to gauge what the material is. Mechanism is still the same like the last bag. Again, I don't have a strap for this bag. Oh, that's a, okay, fine. I have a strap in that bag, so it's okay. Um, I really don't know what happened, but there's no strap in this bag, but there are hooks right here. So you can hook a strap to the bag. Yeah, I give this bag an eight out of 10. This bag, between these two, ugh. But this one, I'm looking for a dress or a skirt or a woven shirt to match the vibe and the details and the color scheme of this. I don't wanna do like a mono, mono, chrome, monochromatic look. I don't wanna do that with this bag. However, I want the colors to be, I want the colors of the dress that I'm going to wear with this and the whole, everything, the colors, the heels to complement the colors in this bag. This bag right here is, I don't even know where I left off, but um, I want the vision when I wear this bag for the first time. I want it to be so memorable. I just want to be super sexy. I'm gonna wear this as an evening night out bag. Because it's woven and it's in this, I don't know, tweed, woven, raw material. This is not a straw bag, and this is not made out of yarn. I don't know what this is, to be honest with you. It comes with this long crossbody chain, so you can wear it as a crossbody if you wanted to. Again, with this magnet closure, <laughs> good quality, well-made, in my personal opinion. I'm not worried about my stuff getting lost or falling out of the bag. This is very sturdy and very good quality. I love this bag. I don't know if I'll get many wears out of this bag. I know, what a shame, but none of these bags are meant to be every, every single day bags. I have those types of bags. Those bags that I wear just on the go when I'm out and about, when I'm going to work, when I'm going to get my hair done, my nails done. These types of bags are not for that. Really bought these bags for vacay. Oh my God, I'm gonna do this bag justice. This kind of straddles the fence of day and evening. I know I said that the rest of the bags are casual. Technically, this is a little bit casual this isn't like a bag that you would wear to a ball or i really did snap when i picked up both of these bags she and really did their big one when they dropped this bag all right we're down to the last two bags finally i'm so happy i'm getting ready to close out this video because this video was a long one this is i really bought it for the handle you can wear the bag as a shoulder bag mm, it's a little bit tight you can wear it in the crook of your arm you can wear it as a handbag and the straps are detachable so you can remove it and wear it as a clutch. I'm not really too crazy about the bag. I'm not even all that crazy about the color. But again, I did kind of somewhat needed a bag just in case I do find light color heels to go with it and just lighter tone, lighter outfits, daytime casual, islandy, tropical beach outfits just in case those tones from the other bag do not work. Yeah, I just wanted to have this bag on deck. I'm not obsessed with it in any way, shape or form like I am with those other two bags, um, but it's still a cute bag. I give the bag really an eight out of 10. The material, I really give it a seven out of 10. I can tell that if you're not careful that this will break apart this woven straw material this is not as thick and sturdy like this bag it's literally woven exactly the same way but the material of this bag is a lot more um 
tight and stiff than this one. This one is very thin, it's very soft. And if you're not careful, I know once you get it wet, it's just gonna like melt and fall apart and unravel. I'm not worried about the closure. Again, believe it or not, Shein did do a very good job with this type of closure. I'm not worried about my stuff falling out of the bag. I love that they put these beads on the bag handle. Anyway, it's decent, I like it. I won't reach for this bag as much, but just in case I need it, it's here. I like the bag, I get the bag an eight out of 10. Last but certainly not least, this woven material is in between this one. This one is woven material, but this is like top quality, heavy duty, especially once you get it wet, it's not gonna unravel and break apart. And then this one would be lower than this bag. So it would be high quality, medium quality, low quality. I already had one of those bags before. This one would be medium quality. I like the bag. I like that the bag is lined. Oh, all of the bags have a proper lining to it. So it's just not made of that woven material. No, all of them are lined in this material. So that's good. It's a plus for me. I like that this bag has this drawstring so you can close it like that, if you can see. I would be afraid, not afraid. I've seen worse bags where there's no lining, there's no pocket, there's no zip, there's no drawstring, no nothing. However, I would definitely keep an eye out on this. I'm not 100% secure with this bag. It doesn't have a zip, but at least it has a pocket material so you can try your best to secure whatever valuables you may put in this bag. This is a straw basket bag. It's not as basket-y or like you would see those laundry basket bags, old school laundry basket bag. It does have some structure, it has some shape. I believe there's like a metal rod in this handle. I don't know if it's metal, but I'm assuming it's metal. It's stiff, it's hard, it doesn't bend. I like this bag. It is a cute bag. I wanted this bag so bad because I wanted to wear it as a beach bag, like an alternative beach bag. However, I did not not know it was going to come in this size. So this is not really a beach bag. It's meant to be a beach bag. I'm pretty sure the intent was to be a beach bag. The material is definitely a beach bag. However, it's not feasible for the beach. My tanning lotion or my sunscreen, yeah, that can fit in here, but like my water bottle, my phone, my charger, the towel, keys. If you're the type of person that carries everything, everything in the kitchen sink to the beach, it's not going to happen. I was very shocked that this was the size. I was anticipating for it to be a large one extra large. You gotta read the measurements on Shein. It's a beautiful bag. I'm not parting ways with it. I'm gonna wear it as an everyday daytime bag. I'm gonna try and get some use out of it. I don't know how much use I'm gonna get out of it. It does have these hooks here so you can attach a strap or a chain to the bag so that you can wear it as a crossbody or a shoulder bag. Unfortunately, oh no it does. Oh it's cute. I was just getting ready to fix my mouth and say that they did not provide me with a strap and I'm happy that they made this type of strap instead of that gold chain that they've been putting putting on every single bag. However, the strap does not feel like it would be heavy duty, decent quality. I got a funny feeling that this is going to pop and break, but knock on wood, I'm not even gonna speak that into existence. I rebuke, I take it back. I'm just gonna keep in mind if I decide to wear it as a crossbody, not to overpack or overstuff the bag. I definitely like this bag. I give this bag, really I give this bag a nine out of 10. The quality is an eight out of 10. It would have been a 10 out of 10 had it been just larger. And maybe if they would have added a zip instead of the drawstring, it would have been a 10 out of 10. But other than that, really it's a 10 out of 10. Didn't I score a big one? Didn't I do a very good job at picking out some really great pieces off of Shein? I gotta give myself a pat on the back. I have to toot my own horn. I mean, I really do have to give myself a pat on the back. Oh, and another thing, I'm so sorry if I was very confusing. I don't know if I said it before, but if I did not mention it, I'm saying it now. I was not expecting this video to be so long. I already know this video is like two or three hours long. I can already tell that this video is well over two hours long, just the handbags alone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break up the video. Next, I'm going to film the jewelry and sunglasses because it's a lot. I mean, at least 15 pairs of sunglasses and at least... 20 30 pieces of jewelry so that in itself is a whole video within itself so i know the title is going to be correct i know it's going to be a she in luxury inspired high quality vacation summertime bag haul so the title of the video is going to be correct i don't remember what exactly i said in the intro but in the intro i might have said or alluded to the fact that this was going to be a she in accessory haul never mind that if i said that in the beginning of the video just never mind that because clearly this is just 
a bag haul so i wasn't expecting for it to be this long so i'm gonna have to break up the video but yeah um that completes this video i'm so happy that i am getting to show you all of the lovely purchases that i've made i'm not gonna hold you up any longer please let me know what was a hit and let me know what was a miss even if you don't decide to buy any of these bags just let me know how you felt about any of the bags leave me any comments down below i'm all ears and i will leave links to everything that i find or similar items in the description box down below as well don't forget to follow me on my other platforms i'll make sure to leave my handles in the description box down below don't forget to turn on your bell notification so that you don't miss any of my future uploads please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i thank you all so much for watching and i will see you guys all in my next video